How's it going everyone? As you can see here, we're reviewing the Buzz's tier list. Now, the Buzz is someone that I always thought is an extremely smart player. Um, I'm sure I could find you like messages from 2015 of saying how well I think he pilots Rosalina. Now, I was a Rosalina player, so obviously I have to hype him up to make my character look less stupid, right? But uh, in all honesty, I'm joking, but uh, I actually think he's like incredibly smart player. So he made a tier list and I actually don't play this game that much. I'm not much of a Wi-Fi guy. Most of the enjoyment I found from Smash is actually just watching pro level play and like analyzing it, right? Breaking it down, slowing it down. Stuff I do for you guys on this channel, right? Much more than playing it on Wi-Fi. I play it offline if people want to play. But uh, I'm not much of a wi fi -er. So let's... It's hard to make a current tier list because there hasn't been much pro play going on. So let's go to the expert Wi-Fi Lord, the Buzz. So yeah, follow the Buzz here. At the Buzz Senpai, if you want to... Um, if you like his list and whatnot. And I hyped him up in the beginning saying I think he's super smart, which I do, but I think this trailer is pretty troll. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I was just looking at it before I started the video and I'm like, I checked the comments and like other people are saying you're trolling and uh, and Pandarian here was saying that his top five is a joke or something. Where'd that, where'd that one go? But yeah, um, yeah. I don't know if I agree with that. Whoops, changed that by accident. Spaghetti, spaghetti. But um, yeah, let's let's just go into it. So, Wario being first to me makes no sense, but I kind of get the logic that people always thought Wario was good, right? Like from the beginning of Smash Ultimate, you probably see Wario in top tiers of a lot of other tier lists from the beginning. And then like as Tweak started playing him less, some people thought he might not be as great. Maybe the bus still does. But the big thing to note is that almost every character who has been better than War in the past has been nerfed, right? ZSS, Daisy, I don't know about Snake, um, Wolf has, I don't think Pikachu's been nerfed, but Palu sure has, Joker sure has, right? So if you were the opinion that Wario was kind of on that tier and those characters got nerfed and he didn't, I could see him rising. To me, I just don't agree with it. Um, I don't think Wario's that great. I still think, Joe. to me, the best five best, I'm just gonna get that out of the way now, to the five best characters in the game, Joker, Pikachu, Palutena, ZSS, and, and uh, Peach slash Daisy. I don't know about the order yet. I'm not 100% convinced myself. But to me, those are the five best characters in the game. So obviously, I think these two should be higher, and then these ones should be lower. Uh, I think Shulk's up there, too, in like that 6 to 10 area. I think Mario's up there, too. Maybe Game & Watch, but I think Meister kind of just... It's kind of got people uh, shook, you know? But I don't think Game & Watch is like a top tier. I think Game & Watch is a great character. I put him here. Even though it says top tier, but not bounce, but bounce, sorry. I don't think he's in the tier with like Joker, Pika, Palu, all that. I think Mario is questionable. Um, I've always thought Mario was a great character from the start of this game. People are saying, oh, he's nerfed, he's nerfed. I still think he was a good character from the go. I didn't think he was this good, and I still don't. <laughs> but I thought he was a fine character that people kind of just gave up on because they felt he was better in Smash 4. Now, the Buzz happens is the fourth best character in the game. Um, to me, pretty troll. But I do think Mario can earn a place in this tier. Um, he said it's not ordered, somewhat ordered, somewhat ordered. So I would assume like the higher tiers are the somewhat, honestly, because that's what like more more people care about. But I don't know for sure. So we're not we're not too sure what the Buzz Senpai cooked up here. So yeah, for this tier alone, I think uh, Wario deserves to be in the tier, but he's too high. I think Joker is fine. Rob maybe deserves to be in the tier. To me, maybe he should be here. To me, he's top tier, but balanced. I think Rob is balanced. Maybe because he's saying this tier needs nerfs, you could say that Rob's down till it should be nerfed. That move is disgusting. But as a character overall, I think he's good, very good. But he's balanced because he's fundamentally like he's a big character, huge hurt box. He has a bad disadvantage. Like he has his weaknesses, right? He has things you can take advantage of, which not a lot of these other characters really have. When you think about it, right? What is ZSS's weakness? She has trouble hitting characters like Pikachu sometimes because they're very low. What is Joker's weakness? I don't, I don't know. You tell me, right? Like. I think some of these characters don't have weakness. That's not to say I think these characters are broken, right? I think ZSS should be higher, like I said. I don't think she's broken, but she seems like a very well-rounded character, right? Like, what, what is bad about her? When you think of these other characters, what's bad about Game Watch? He's super light. Some of his, some characters just like wall him out very easily. Actually, it's a bit harder now because his reflector and whatnot. Well, some sword characters wall him out. ZSS walls him out. She's not even like a wall. Oh, uh, well, she kind of is. 
yeah to me game of watch has like much bigger flaws um rob has much bigger flaws mario that's why i said he can kind of stick around because i don't think he has huge flaws he gets zoned out but his movement kind of makes up for it shulk i think is fine in this tier he's kind of nuts he has his flaws but he has like this stupidest like gimmick i don't know if it's a gimmick just a good move in monado but it just makes up for anything any bad part of his kit is made up for in monado because he just gets like super buffed in any way he wants it so yeah i think that's my goal on this tier list this tier this um list i think is fine except i would put these two up the rest i have no problem like at all i agree 100 i think these characters are all kind of grouped together and they're all about similarly strength maybe greninja lower but i don't know if i know enough about greninja from this tier i'd move a few characters up and that'd be rosa at the top of the tier i play rosa like i mentioned before i think she's great we've seen at the top of the tier but they're like towards the top anyway that's not a big deal diddy i think would be at the top of the tier i think diddy's a super slept on character i have for a while i think inkling should be at the top of the tier i think yoshi should be at the bottom i think Sheik should be at the bottom although i do think she's a high tier character i have no idea about min min so yeah let's go over a little individually i think pac-man just a good character tia showed us very very good character if you know what you're doing same with Mega Man. not much to say about these two characters it's great overall cloud has been rising as time has gone by i always thought cloud nerfs were over exaggerated they're bad but he was a crazy good character in smash 4 i think he was better than most people even still think to this day and he's people most people say he's soft too and not that i think he's better than bale but he's just like uh, i don't know how to word it any better but i think he was crazy he was super super good people like oh his recovery is bad who cares the rest of his kill is bonkers yeah i think rose is a great character i've said this many times i think chrome's good pit pit's a one that we should talk about because he got buffed this patch and i've been playing with black twins player from ontario is very good and he was playing pit and he said the buffs seemed nice i they looked nice when he was hitting me with them so yeah I, I agree with pit being the high tier maybe i think he should be a bit lower though problem with pit is that it's gonna be hard to tell if he's actually good because he's so fucking boring <laughs> when a character is boring i feel like less players are like w willing to gravitate them towards them unless they're like bro like super good like palu a lot of people think palu is broken but she's just so clearly good that it's like who cares you I'll, I'll deal with it pit's like he's good enough now i think but if you find him boring it's not worth putting time into for a character not even like top 10. i think inkling is a character that forever we will say if the potential was untapped he could be top tier she he or she could be top tier um i don't know if that'll ever happen but i actually do believe that honestly because inkling's kit just seems like in many many matchups they just never have to get hit like they're so evasive they have great moves great normals great movement dash attack dash grab jab all those moves super good the big problem is killing i still don't even know how hard up throw up air is everyone tells you something different <laughs> But yeah, I think the main problem is killing, but that's kind of like what Sheik had in Smash 4. And obviously, Sheik was, I think, a better character than Inkling is now. But yeah, I think I think Inkling is slept on still because... I don't know. There's like a, a constant argument about Inkling depending on what side you're on. To me, fundamentally, just a super good character. So it's hard to say that she's like bad in any way. Yoshi, it's fine in this tier. I think Yoshi's that character that always looks better than he actually is. But it's hard to actually gauge him because of that. Sheik, a lot of people don't think she's that great still. I think she's high tier for sure. Very good character. As I said, Min Min, not too sure. Young Link, I think, is a great character. Maybe at the top of this tier. Um, I talked about him in my most underrated character video. So if you want to hear more about Young Link, you can go there. I talked about Falco in my biggest winners of the patch. I think his buffs were great. His down tilt feels amazing. His downer is starting to feel more like melee. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. But he's, he's a good... I think he was already a decent character. And now he's like getting more more time to shine same with falcon i've been watching fatality against uh larry i've been if you guys watch those matches they were quite the pleasure to watch and falcon looks sick he looks like a good character i think um again hard to gauge falcon right because when he looks good he looks so good right it's like holy shit this guy has the craziest combo and then you play a character like i don't know mario and he juggles you for six hours or she edge guards you with her eyes closed hard to gauge falcon but i do think he's a high tech character same with Sonic, I like that he's at the bottom because he's also hard to gauge because like we all have Wi-Fi in our eyes right now, right? Out of this tier, the ones that stand out to me are these three and that I think they're all higher than upper mid tier. I think they're all high tier characters. Um, Olimar is Olimar. I feel like even when Olimar was great, the buzz said he wasn't that good. <laughs> Not to flame or anything. I feel like uh, he downplayed him a little bit. Maybe he's fine now and where he plays him, but I personally think he's still, he's still okay in the high tier. Terry, I think, is high tier. Pretty nut nutty character when he's good when he gets going, but he has his flaws, so I put him at like the very bottom. So I guess this is fine. 
Same with Link, honestly, same thing. He has very good things about him, but he's also super flawed in some aspects. His nair is crazy though, so high tier for me. Oh yeah, Kirby, I put way lower. Talked about this in my patch rundown. I think Kirby is fundamentally a bad character. When you think of good characters, they're usually fast, they usually have range, they have like crazy kill power. Kirby has like decent kill power, decent damage, but he's too slow for his range, right? Think of lower range characters up here, Mario. How does he make up for it? Very good speed, right? Super good air movement. His fireball, he can approach behind it. His back air is good. Not that Kirby's isn't, but Kirby's air speed is like the problem. Kirby, imagine if Mario couldn't move, like how many characters would just wall him out all day, most of the cast. And that's what Kirby is, right? And he doesn't have the fireball to make up for it. I'm just not a fan of Kirby. I don't think, well, I'm a fan of Kirby. Actually, I really like the games growing up, but I don't think he's a good character in Smash Brothers. So yeah, I'd put Kirby in like low tier, honestly. The buffs were nice, but I don't think I don't think it made a big enough, big enough difference because like of the fundamental aspect of the character's kit that is flawed. I think Ness is fine here, Samus is fine here. Maybe Ike would be a bit higher. I heard his Nair up B is like kind of nutty, but who knows? I think Wii Fit slept on a bit, but I'm not sure how much. So I'd probably leave her in the similar tier, maybe low high tier, probably not. I don't know enough about Wii Fit, but I do think Sleep are a good character. There's a lot of options, but again, it's kind of like Pit in that she's kind of boring. So like why bother learning and she's not straightforward either is yeah it's like a learning curve so unless you find we fit fun which is probably a very small pop portion of the population it's gonna be hard to lab around right ken and ryu being beside each other i think is kind of funny because i don't think they play that similarly they do but they have a lot of differences but this is about where i put them so it works ddd and k roll beside each other i think is funny as well because i think ddd fits here and k roll doesn't even though they're the things I'm going to say about Kiril kind of apply to DD. As I said with Kirby, I think DD is fundamentally a flawed character. He has a bad disadvantage. His armor kind of makes up for it, but not really. He's huge, huge hitbox, like just easy to hit. He's not that fast. His range is okay. And his, um, this is a loud song. Holy, Let me put it down a little bit. His range is okay. And, um, he's got the projectile on the crown. It's not nothing amazing. In the, and then the other person can steal it from you. But there's just too many like fundamentally bad things about a smash character right if you were to make a smash character that you wanted to play ideally it and you want it to be a good character you'd probably think about you know hard to hit speed good frame data right it's not k rule now i'm gonna say this kind of applies to dd too in which i agree but i think the buffs to dd were pretty big he has very very good kill power not that k rule doesn't but i think dd's is more um like safe like it's not he doesn't have to swing as hard he doesn't have to like you know swing for the fences so dd can just hit you with like very a lot of raw hits that are hard to punish ddd's gordos i think are better well they're not gordos anymore are they are oh, they only gordos sorry i think his gordos are better than the crown personally just because he can do like so many cool ledge trapping situations and it kind of pressures you off stage with it so i think ddd belongs here whereas k roll should probably be lower violet i don't know much about but i do think she's a pretty good character from what we saw in that leo one game and kind of the vods i've been watching of people online I think Bowser can stay here. Don't know anything about this character, so I will not comment. I think Mewtwo is severely underrated. I have for a while. Everything bad I've been saying about Kirby and uh, K. Roll opposite for Mewtwo. I think Mewtwo is a fundamentally good character. He's quick. He has good frame data. He hits pretty hard. He has good range. He has good kill power. A kill throw. Right. His tail gets hit. Oh shit, man! You can hit his tail. And I'm kind of memeing that because I think people hard overrate that. Like, it sucks. 100% it sucks. But it doesn't mean a fundamentally strong character like Mewtwo just is bad because of it. To me, it's not a low tier. Or I guess he wrote lower mid. To me, I think Mewtwo is super stuffed on. Especially now that a Shadow Ball got buffed. That is so annoying. So many characters cannot deal with just Shadow Ball spam. And then even if he just taps me and he starts, like, charging it. Now you have to be pressured to go stop him. You don't want to give it to him for free. That moves good. Good AF. So yeah, I think Mewtwo is super underrated. I'd honestly, I think I'd put him in high tier. Legit. I think I'd put him like down here. At the very end. Maybe upper mid, but I would put him way higher. I think this character is super slept on. Especially after the buffs. Because they're a good buffs. Villager I think is fine here. I don't know that much about the character. I'm not a fan of him. Corrin is fine. Pretty good buffs. Bale, pretty good buffs. Fine here. Maybe she could even climb. We'll see how big the buffs were. Duck Hunt I think is fine here. Um, probably a bit higher. It's hard to base just because Raito is the only um, like really good duck hunt. But when you think of a tier list, you're thinking of that character's potential, right? Like how good can they be in the meta? So if one person's doing good, chances are that character is still like pretty good, right? 
Well, only one person being good at a character doesn't mean that character isn't good. To me, it just means that only one person is good enough at that character for you to accurately gauge that character's strength. I think uh, Banjo is also better. Probably put him in upper mid tier. I think Marth's way better. Um, the big problem with Marth to me, the reason, like the main, main reason, there's a, you can talk about all these situations, but the one one specific situation that you would always rather pick Lucina than Marth is that when you're edge guarding someone, like you go off stage to hit them, you don't care about tippers anymore that much. You just want to hit them far enough that they can't recover, right? You want to gimp them. The buffs were only to Marth's aerial. Some people, even me, said that maybe he should have got it on like tilts and smashes. But because they're only... Damn, if we top of my ear, man, chill, chill. Um, because they're only his aerials, that actually makes up for what you would pick Lucina over. Because he kind of gets some of these for free. I've been playing Mark these back airs and fairs, and I feel like I'm getting tippers for free. So I think he's, like, significantly better now. Like, maybe not as good as Lucina, but I do think he's, like, in a similar tier as Lucina now. Especially because, okay, they didn't buff the f tilt, but the f tilt always kind of give you like these awkward tippers for free because like he'll tip on the way up or something. F smash, you always want it max range, right? Even with Lucina, you never want to hit someone with F smash point blank, very rarely, unless you're like hard punishing something. And like they air dodged into you or some like random situation, right? But if you're like whiff punishing or you're even just swinging it, you want it to be max range because it's harder to punish in case something goes wrong, right? So that's not a big deal. That, that tipper didn't get um, buffed because it's like you always want someone at that tip anyway. So yeah, I think Marth way better than people give him credit for. But yeah, maybe not as good as Lucina. Toon Link I think is fine here. Robin I think is fine here. Maybe even lower, but I don't know enough about him. So leave him there. Richter's fine. I think Luigi should be hard just because he's kind of brain dead. <laughs> feel bad saying that. I don't like calling characters brain dead. But if you have a super, super, super strong punish game, I don't think you can be a low tier just because it's like, it's just unforgiving to fight that character no matter who you are. Now, so many good characters will zone him out. Yes for sure but any character that has to fight him which is a lot of characters even characters up here like they have to get in his face to fight him right like falcon yoshi she kind of not really she can zone him out luigi um diddy if he just gets like the one grab and you lose like your whole health or health you lose so much you gain so much percent or you just straight up die i don't like characters like that personally because it's not that you can't be good at luigi obviously you can right there's so many smart luigi players but because you can focus so hard on just punish game you can kind of make so many other characters irrelevant without even like being good at neutral and whatnot, you know? Which I feel like bad saying. But it's true in my in my head. Yeah. Characters with super strong punish games in general. It's like Meta Knight in Smash 4, right? His neutral was whatever, but like he dash attacked you once and you might die, especially if you're like Rosa. See, I think Luigi should be higher just because his punish game's whack. Hero's fine here. I don't think he's a good character, he's just like gimmicky and frustrating, right? Cause you gotta read. Who likes to read mid-match? Not me, man. Not me. Meta Knight, I think, maybe a bit higher, but probably not. Pichu, I think, is way higher. I think this is a troll. Like, this is actually so troll. I don't think Pichu is, like, a super good character. I've said in my, um, many other videos that I think the buffs were, the nerfs were too hard on Pichu. Um, he lost too, he gained too much glass, lost too much cannon at the same time, which just feels bad, right? It's too much of a shift at once in both directions. So I wish that Pichu got buffed, not even buffed, just like some of the nerfs reverted, a few of them, not all of them. I think Pichu deserved to be nerfed, but not to the extent that he was, but there's no way he's low tier, that's like so troll. Look at the characters he's around, you tell me Pichu's in the same tier as like, no, 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 I, I refuse. I would put Pichu in high tier maybe, or upper mid, personally. Sinor is fine, I've heard good things about Plant, but I honestly don't know enough. I think Donkey Kong's pretty dog shit, but we're in low tier, so that's to be expected. I think Ridley's better than some of these characters, so maybe at the high end of uh, low tier. Don't know enough about Gunner, but I've heard that Gunner might be good. I don't know, though. Dr. Mario, not the good. Jig's not that good. Low tier. Yeah, they're fine. So yeah, the, with, when it comes to this tier, I put Luigi up a bit. Peach you up a lot. That's about it. The rest of them seem okay to me. I put Lucas in low tier, but that doesn't matter. When you get to this point, it's like... You're grasping at straws, right? Like, how bad is my character? <laughs> Personally, I think Lucas is okay, but... Um, I don't know enough about, like, his matchup spread and whatnot to make, like, a very good decision, so... Just based on the buzz's tier list, I think he's giving Lucas not enough credit, but I don't know, maybe he knows something I don't. This is fine, this is fine. i probably put Ices higher. I would 100% put Ices higher. Zelda's fine. Ganon's fine. These are dog shit characters. I think Lucario's a bit better than these ones. I'd put him low tier, maybe even lower mid. I think Lucario is not a great character for sure i'm not trying to like boost him to be great like amazing sorry 
but he's not i don't think he's like in dog shit tier you know <laughs> he's, this is my dog shit tier down here i don't think he's in that tier because he has aura which is bullshit like god awful mechanic it's nerfed but it's still there it's still annoying he has a projectile which is always good command grab which is always good his isn't that great but with aura he kills a little too early pretty hard to gimp if you're good at like mixing it up and it's hard to control but it's something you're good at and one of the things that I think is super stuffed about Lucario is that his Nair, his aerials are pretty good. If Fair comes out quick, he can do two in a short hop, which is like a weird good thing to have. Uh, and, um, what was I saying? His Nair can be zero on shield. That's nutty, my friends. Zero. If a move is like minus three or four, it's usually a good move. You're like, oh, that's nice. That's a good shield pressure move. His Nair can be zero. That's kind of crazy. Only he had a faster move to make to like actually keep pressuring you after that, so that kind of sucks. But I don't think he's as bad as these characters, right? He's got, he's got stuff. He's got decent kill power because of aura. He's got a projectile. These characters are all kind of just like gimmicks or straight up bad, right? So I think he should be in a higher tier. So yeah, that's about it. Quick rundown: Wario's too high. Out of like the standout ones, these two are these three are too high. The rest are fine. ZSS Peach up. Rest are fine. I think this is okay. I would shuffle them a little bit, but I don't think any character here doesn't deserve to be here. I'm kind. I'm not sure about Midman. I would throw these three higher. Kirby lower. Rest of these seem fine. Uh, DDD maybe in the lower tier. I would shoot Mewtwo way up. Probably in high tier. Maybe at the top of upper mid. I'm not 100% sure yet. My thoughts on Mewtwo are not conclusive, but I do think he's fundamentally a good character, as I've been saying. Marth way higher, rest of them seem fine to me. Maybe these two higher as well. Luigi a bit higher, Pichu way higher. Rest of these don't matter. Lucas a bit higher. Lucario higher too. So that's my rundown of what I think of the Buzz of Tearless. Obviously he knows way more than me about like this game at the top, top level. So maybe he knows some stuff I don't, but it seems other people think he's trolling. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess I'm not, uh, what is this? What is this? Oh my God, Twitter, man. Fucking Twitter. So, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'll make my own tier list one day and I'll go more into depth about, like, what I think about each character, how they kind of pilot themselves in the meta, kind of like I did with Mewtwo and, um, like, K-Roll, right? I'll talk about how fundamentally they're designed. If you guys are interested in that, maybe I will, but I feel like a lot of people don't care. They just want to see how good the character is, right? So, either way, hope you enjoyed or my insight in the Buzz's tier list while kind of making my own tier list while I'm at it without making it official because I don't want to... Make an official one yet because I don't know enough in this time of Wi-Fi. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and you're staying safe out there. And I'll see you next time. See you later.